Welcome to 5-Minute Find, where we show you things to do on Ancestry.com in 5 minutes or less. In this episode, using the Sons of the American Revolution applications. The Sons of the American Revolution is a lineage society for men who descend from a patriot of the American Revolution. And these applications show how the applicant descends from that patriot. When you're working with the applications, it's important to remember that they don't include the documentation itself. But the applications do list what the applicant used as proof. Also, when you're looking at these applications, there are two things to look for. First, look for the proof of the Patriot's service. This is what was used to prove that that eligible ancestor actually served in the American Revolution, or provided service that qualifies him as a patriot. Also, look for what the applicant used as proof of relationship between the generations. When you're using the Sons of the American Revolution applications, you want to make sure that you go in and view the actual image. Even though a lot of information has been indexed, you're going to get a lot more information on the application itself. So always make sure that you go and click on View to see the actual application. When you're looking at the actual application, you'll notice that it's actually comprised of several pages. The form that was used changed over time, but the basic layout is there's going to be a section where the applicant is giving his information. Sometimes it will include information about his wife and his children. You will want to read the entire application carefully because you never know where they're going to be putting different bits of information. And things that you want to look for include what he is using as proof for his documentation. On this application, He's listing the references that he's using for his ancestor's service, as well as the genealogical data contained in the application. Documentation standards became more rigorous as time moved on. And what you'll find in some of the early applications is that their documentation isn't up to what we would consider for today's standards. But rather than discounting these applications, use them as clues for further research. As we see in this application, he's using two different county histories as part of his documentation, along with some records from a DAR chapter and a 1782 census. It's not the most rigorous documentation, but it is enough to get us started on our own research in this line. When you're working through these applications, make sure that you browse forward to the next image because these applications are typically on multiple images. When we go to the next image on this particular application, that's when we see exactly how the applicant descends from the Patriot. We also see more specific information about that Patriot service. And remember what I said a moment ago about making sure to look for what he is using as proof of all of the facts that he's listing in his application. In this particular case, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. In this application, he's giving us very specific citations to different things that he used. In this application, he's not only giving us a specific citation to a unit history, but he's also giving specific citations from deed books out of Monroe County, West Virginia. Unfortunately, the application as it's presented here doesn't include images of that unit history or those deed books, but it certainly gives us something that we can follow up with on our own research. The Sons of the American Revolution applications give us so many clues that we can use to follow up for more research for our own Patriot ancestors.